Hello, my name is David Mello. I'm Supervisor of Children's Services here at the Fall River Public Library. And today, we are going to be making our little aquarium craft. And this is kind of a recycled craft. We're using old CD pockets to make them. And they're colorful, they're a lot of fun, and you can kind of hang them anywhere. And to start out, you'll have visited the library to pick up your own little aquarium kit. And let's see what's inside. Inside this little bag should have all the things that we need to make one little aquarium. We have the pocket with the ocean inside. We have some greenery here. That's kind of for the seaweed at the bottom of the aquarium. We have two little, they look almost like W's, or little, little forks. And that's the coral that's gonna go at the very, very bottom. And we have also, this should be about five different foam fish cutouts to fill up that ocean. And then two pipe cleaners that will become the handle for our craft. And we can't forget our glue dots, of course. Okay, so if you have all these pieces, you are ready to start your aquarium craft. Now, first of all, we are going to start out by pulling out the water portion from the pocket. And there we have it. Our next step, we are going to take our foam sea life and peel off the backs of each one. Get a little sticky. There we go. And we are going to attach them to this piece of paper. So it looks like they're floating in the ocean. Get all those pots off. It is a little sticky. There we go. And one suggestion is you'd want to put them closer to the top of your, of the water. So they don't get covered by the greenery at the bottom by all that seaweed. And you can create a nice arrangement Pull them out, stick them on. I think I'll make him kind of diving into the water over here. There we go. And we have a little purple fish. He's really pretty. I'll kind of put him in the center. We'll put him right there. How's that? Okay, we have a, oh, we have a baby dolphin. We'll put him just below the octopus, right over here, playing about. Our aquarium's getting filled up now. And I have a little tiny lobster. Now, there, they would be more or less at the bottom. And I know I said don't put them at the bottom, but we'll kind of, we'll kind of find a spot for him. Not too close to the bottom, but just close enough that he might be peeking out of the seaweed. And there we go. And next, we're ready to attach our coral. And the coral is going to be somewhere along the bottom of the aquarium. And to attach the coral pieces, we are going to use our glue dots. And here they are. Now, if you've never used glue dots before, they're actually not bad to use. You peel off the top, like so, and you find your location where you want your item to stick on the piece of paper or the cardboard, and you put the dot there. That's where I want my coral piece to go. And then you just peel that section away, and it sticks right to the cardboard. So I'll have one coral there, and I will put the other piece of coral maybe right near the lobster. 
We'll stick it right there. Press it on nice and tight and then pull the paper away and we're ready to attach the coral. I'll take the pink one and I will stick it right next to the right next to the lobster. He's kind of he's kind of peeking out from behind it. He's a little shy. And we'll take our orange piece of coral and we'll stick it right there. There we are. And now that we have the sea life arranged, our coral arranged right where we want it, we're going to take our plastic CD pocket and we are going to slide it right inside. Just like so. And you can see it's kind of already looking like an aquarium. We got that, that shiny glass front right there. But we've got all our seaweed to put in there too. So we're gonna crumple it up. Take a little bit of it. You don't have to use it all. There might be an awful lot of seaweed that we give you. So crumple up a, a little handful like that. Can you see the way I have it right there? Kind of kind of sticks all together. And just roll it out and we'll kind of drop it right down in the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a popsicle stick right here to kind of push it on down to the ocean floor right there, like so. But if you have a pencil at home, you can do that. We'll take a little bit more and twist it up just like we did earlier. And we're gonna put some down on this side over here. And just kind of drop it on in and push it on down. There we go. And using your pencil or a popsicle stick, you kind of arrange it any way you want. And I just want to put a little tiny bit more. If you want less, you can put less. If you want more, you can put more. Remember, this is your aquarium. And you can decorate it any which way you like. And there. I kind of think that looks fine, don't you? That looks like a comfortable little place for those animals to live. And now, the last portion is the handle. I'm gonna set this aside, right over here. And we're gonna make our handle. Now, we could go with just a light blue handle and attach it to the aquarium. Or we could go with a dark blue handle and attach it as the handle, but we wanna make it look kind of special. We want that kind of spiral, colorful look right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put both pipe cleaners side by side and we're going to twist one end and then what we're going to do is take one of the colors, either the light blue or the dark blue, and just kind of twist it around and around and around and around. This is actually kind of fun to do. And around and around and around till it kind of snakes its way around the first color. And there we go. Now you have to admit, that looks much cooler than just one color, doesn't it? And then, we're gonna go back to our aquarium and the holes on the blue water card should line up with the holes on the plastic CD pocket. And you just wanna poke the pipe cleaner through, twist it on one side, and then run it on over to the other side. And twist it there. And there we have it our own little carry-about aquarium.